In this video, we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to control systems. You can see the problem here, this is given in gate 2001 for 2 marks. An electrical system and its signal flow graph representation are shown in figure A and B, this figure A and figure B. So, this is the electrical system, the related signal flow graph for this, they given like this and uh, the values of G2 and H respectively are, we need to find out the values of H of S and G2 of S. So, here to solve this problem, I want to solve my equation with this electrical network and as well as by this signal flow graph. First of all, if you see this electrical network, this is having input voltage and output voltage and you are having impedances. So, Z1 of S, Z2 of S, Z3 and Z4 and the currents are I1 and I2. So, in this, in this loop, I want to apply KVL, the cost voltage law for this loop. So, apply KVL for loop 1. If I, if I apply KVL for this loop 1, you are having source voltage. So, V i of s is equal to, so V i of s is equal to, so here the voltage through this impedance is Z y, Z 1 of s into I 1 of s. So, here the voltage through that impedance is Z 1 of s into I 1 of s plus through this Z3, the voltage is Z3 of S into I1 of S minus I2 of S because there is sharing element in between these two loops. So, that is why we need to consider the current as subtraction of second loop current. So, I2 of I1 of S minus I2 of S we need to consider when you are taking the impedance of Z3. When you are considering the voltage of Z3, then you, you need to consider Z3 of S into I1 of S minus I2 of S. So, if, here you can see, so you can take common of I1 of S here, I am taking common of I1 of S, so into Z1 of S plus Z3 of S, in these two I am taking common, the remaining is minus Z3 of S into I2 of S. I am just multiplying these two. So, I am just multiplying Z3 of S inside and I am taking common of I1 of S and the remaining term I written here. So, now in the next step I want to get I1 of S equation. I want to get the equation for I1 of S. So, I1 of S is equal to you need to send this term to this side and you need to divide. And here V i of s minus or so if you send this term to this side, you are going to get Z3 of s into I2 of s divided by Z1 of s plus Z3 of s. So, this is the value you are going to get in case of I1 of S. I just send that term to this side. So, V I of S plus Z3 of S into I2 of S divided by this term. By this equation, I use it to get I1 of S, that is it. And now, I am going to apply KVL for my second loop. So, when I am applying KVL for my second loop, there is no source voltage here. So, that is why I need to consider 0 here. 0 is equal to, so through this Z3 the voltage is, the current is here also for this element current is again sharing, I2 of S minus I1 of S you need to consider. The voltage is impedance into current Z3 of S, current is I2 of S minus I1 of S plus these two impedances are in series. So, you can take Z2 of S plus Z4 of S as your resultant impedance. So, voltage through that impedance is total impedance into current through it. Current is I2 of S again. So, this is I2 of S. 
So now you can see, so this is I2 of S, I1 of S combination. I am taking common of I2 of S. So I2 of S is equal I2 of S into, so I am taking common of this I2 of S, Z3 of S plus Z2 of S plus Z4 of S. I take in common of I2 of S terms and the remaining is minus Z3 of S into I1 of S. This is the remaining term and here 0 is equivalent to. From this equation, I want to write the equation for I2 of S. So, I am writing I2 of S is equivalent to. So, here I am sending this term to this side and I am sending this to denominator and you are going to get Z3 of S into I1 of S divided by and here Z3 of S plus Z2 of S plus Z4 of S. We got two currents I1 and I2. Same two currents I want to derive from the signal flow graph and I want to compare with this then I use it to get my G2 and H. So, this equation I am going to consider like equation number 1 and this equation number 2. And now from signal flow graph, so here I1 of S is equal into from signal flow graph I1 of S is equal into VA of S into G1 of S. V i of s into g 1 of s. So, at this point this is entering and this is also entering. So, that means i 2 of s into h of s plus i 2 of s into h of s. This is not h 2. So, i 2 of s into h of s. So, now here I want to note about i 2 of s where I2 of S is equal into I1 of S into G2 of S. I1 of S into G2 of S. So, you can see this point. So, this total I1 of S, whatever the value entered here by this or by this. So, that is multiplied with G2 of S to get I2 of S. So, these equations I am taking like equation number 3 and equation number 4. I am comparing my equation number 3 with 1 and 4 with 2. What I am going to get is, so you can see you need to get G2. So, you need to get this G2. So, that means I am just comparing I2 of S, I2 of S. This signal flow graph is related to this for this only. So, whatever I2 you are getting here is same as this. That means these two are equal. So, when you compare these two, I1 of S is here, I1 of S is here, whatever the remaining value is there, that is nothing but G2 of S. So, G2 of S is equal to, G2 of S is equal to Z3 of S divided by Z3 of S plus Z2 of S plus Z4 of S. And now, we need to consider the value of H, where you are having value of H. Here you can see V i of S by G 1 of S. So, you can translate this term into two terms, V i by denominator and this one by denominator. Whatever the I 2 of S coefficient is there, that is H of S. So, I 2 of S coefficient is Z 3 of S by denominator. So, that is why, so H of S is equal into Z3 of S divided by Z1 of S plus Z3 of S. So, this is H of S, whatever they are asking that we already derived here. So, they are asking what is G2 of S. For example, if they are asking what is G1 of S, where we will get G1? So, in as the coefficient of V i of S, you will get G 1. So, that means 1 by Z 1 of S plus Z 3 of S will be G 1 of S, but they are not asking G 1 of S. G 2 of S, G 2 of S is here. I just compared these two equations of I 2. So, I got this G 2 of S. 
and I compared this third equation with first equation. So, and the coefficient of I2 of S, so I got H of S. Like this way we need to solve some gate problems related to signal flow graph and electrical network.